All right, charge in a uniform electric field. Okay, so first of all, uh, we must uh, know the difference between non-uniform electric field and uniform electric field. Now, what is the difference between non-uniform electric field and uniform electric field? Now, to know the difference between uh, non-uniform or uniform, you check with the electric field lines. Uh, for example, here the point charge, the point charge, electric field line around the point charge, uh, it's non-uniform. Okay, non-uniform. Why is it non-uniform? Because you look at the electric field lines, uh, nearer to the point charge, the electric field lines are closer to each other. Yeah, closer to each other. But as going away from the point charge, the electric field lines diverge. Yeah, the electric field lines become further apart from each other. Uh, you see, the electric field line when further apart, uh, it uh, when further away from the uh, point charge, the electric field lines are further away from each other. But when the electric field line closer to the point charge, uh, the electric field lines they are closer to each other. And uh, this is non-uniform electric field because uh, the 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 distance the separation between the electric field lines is showing the strength or the strength or electric field itself uh, if the electric field line are closer to each other means it has higher strength uh, higher electric field strength uh, but, but when the electric field lines are further apart uh, this means the electric field line the electric field is weak at that uh, position okay so uh, since uh, so, so here you can see there are, uh, here the lines are closer means the strength is high here the uh, di the separation is big means the, the field strength here is uh, weak uh, so this is non uniform electric field okay for point charge uh, so uh, the formula for non uniform electric field by point charge is uh, we use kq over r square to calculate uh, okay kq over r square or uh, electrostatic force per unit test charge per unit test charge so the unit for electric field strength uh, is newton per coulomb how do we get with newton per coulomb uh, very simple just from the force per unit test charge okay we know that the force itself is newton and the test charge is coulomb uh, so uh, this is newton per coulomb uh, that's for electric field okay uh, newton per coulomb so uh, remember this formula kq kq over r square is only for point charge for point charge don't you don't use kq over r square for parallel plate ah don't use kq over r square for parallel plate that is wrong uh, we haven't reached a parallel plate. So KQR square, KQR square is only for point charge. Uh, that is a non-uniform electric field, uh, where the field strength, some part of it is strong. Uh, the lines are closer to each other, uh, but uh, some part of it, uh, the field strength is weak, um, um, the, because the lines are further away from each other. Yeah, because uh, this, as you can see from here. This electric field depend on the distance. Uh, depend on the distance. Um, you know, uh, when further away from the point charge, the R R is the distance from point charge. Uh, the further away, uh, further away from the point charge, the the field strength become lower. Ah, the field strength become lower. So this shows that this is a non-uniform electric field. Uh, okay, non-uniform non-uniform electric field why is it non-uniform because the electric field depends on the distance from point charge the the bigger the distance from point charge further away from point charge the field strength become lower become lower the field lines become further away from each other yeah uh, maybe i can sh i i just write i just write over here nearer to the charge is strong uh, further away uh, is uh, weak weaker electric field at further away yeah, because the uh, distance is low so here it has a stronger electric field when nearer to the point charge okay here is weaker because the electric field depends on distance so it's a non-uniform electric field 
Okay, uh, but for uniform electric field, uh, where can you find uniform electric field? Where can you find uniform electric field? Uh, it's between the parallel plate only. Parallel plate uh, or capacitor. Yeah, actually this parallel plate, it is actually capacitor. Uh, capacitor in chapter 2. Yeah, uh, you will realize that the capacitor in chapter 2 is actually parallel plate. Yeah, the capacitor in chapter 2 is actually parallel plate. And between the parallel plate, we can find uniform electric field. Uh, why we say this electric field is uniform? Just look at the electric field lines. Yeah, the, the separation of electric field lines. So, you see, between the plates, um, the, the separation of the lines is uniform. You see, uh, this part, the separation of between the lines and this, uh, this, uh, this position, the separation between the lines is equal. Uh, is equal. It's uniform throughout the the whole area uh, around the parallel plate. So we can say this electric field between the parallel plate is uniform. Uh, it's uniform. So if uh, the formula of to find the formula to find the uniform electric field is delta v over d. Uh, delta v over d. Uh, this d. Uh, is the is only one value, uh, only one value, uh, which this d is the separation between the plates. Uh, yeah, separation between the plate is only one value. Uh, so the electric field line, so the electric field strength has only one value. Uh, yeah, because you know the separation between the plate, uh, like for example this this uh, example this with uh, the separation between these two plates. Is one meter, so uh, the the this uh, distance is only one meter, only one value. So the electric field strength uh, for this example is actually four hundred uh, volt per meter. So uh, all around the you know all around the the field the field strength all around the area around the plate is the uniform uh, four hundred over here. 400 over here, here also 400, uh, here also 400, uh, all around the, the plate. Yeah, the area between the plate all have uniform electric field. Uh, the electric field strength is uh, equal uh, for all area around the uh, a or area between the parallel plate. Uh, okay, only one value. The separation between the plate has only one value. And the delta V also only one value. Okay? So, uh, formula E equal to delta V over D uh, is only, uh, you can only use this formula to find the uniform electric field between the parallel plate uh, or capacitor. Don't use E equal to delta V over D, don't use e equal, e equal delta V over D to find the non-uniform electric field for point charge. It's two different things. Okay? So, uh, in a nutshell, don't use KQOR square to find the electric uniform electric field between the parallel plate and also don't use e equal to delta V over D to find the non-uniform electric field for the point charge. Uh, for the point charge, for the point charge, use KQ over R square, uh, which it, the electric field depends on the distance from the point charge. Okay, for uniform electric field between the parallel plate, only use delta V over D. Don't use KQ over R square. Okay, use delta V over D, um, where between the two plates there is a delta V, a potential difference between the two plates. Uh, Surely you have one plate with higher potential and one plate with lower potential. You know, these two plates must have different potential because they have different charge. One is positive charge, one is negative charge. Um, so I can, uh, you have a delta V between the two plates. Delta V. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, why is it? Uh, why is it one plate is positive, one plate is negative? Uh, because you apply potential difference uh, between the two plates. 
uh, because you connect actually you connect these two plate to a battery to a potential difference to a potential difference actually connect maybe for this example sorry uh, maybe you connect this uh, uh, parallel plate into um, a battery with a um, uh, 400 volt battery uh, the delta volt the delta v the potential difference for this battery is 400 volt uh, so this is a positive this is negative uh, where the potential difference between uh, the potential difference for the battery is actually 400 volt uh, the you know the uh, negative terminal is zero volt uh, okay uh, for this example uh, the negative terminal here is negative 200 volt and the positive terminal is a uh, positive 200 volt uh, so the difference is 400 okay 400 so uh, so this plate this plate will will have uh, is connected to the positive plate of the battery okay the battery so this plate also become positive uh, when this plate is connected to the positive terminal this plate also become positive uh, and this plate is connected to the negative terminal so this plate also become negative uh, why is it like that i will explain uh, i will explain about this capacitor in uh, chapter 2 yeah capacitor so uh, when this capacitor is connected to a 400 volt battery uh, this uh, cap, uh, this parallel plate also will have 400 volt. Uh, the potential difference uh, between these two plates is also 400 volt. Uh, okay, because this is a parallel circuit, you know, uh, this is a parallel circuit, parallel circuit. So that means um, the the we can say the voltage. Uh, I can treat this parallel plate as capacitor. Okay, uh, we can say uh, when parallel circuit, the voltage is equal. Understand that? When parallel circuit, the voltage is equal. So the voltage for the capacitor, the voltage capacitor is equal to the voltage of the battery. Uh, uh, capacitor. Yeah? I should, sorry. Right, right, right down. Uh, bet okay. Uh, yeah, so this is a capacitor. Ah, capacitor. The voltage of capacitor is equal to voltage of battery because they are parallel circuit. Ah, parallel circuit. All right. So um, yeah. So the battery is four hundred volt. The capacitor also will have four hundred volt. All right. So, um, just this is um, some general knowledge, huh? some general knowledge for you to know. Okay, now uh, how to find the delta V? Yeah, for this equation, how to find the delta V? Uh, delta V is actually using the, you just use high potential minus the low potential. Uh, high potential minus the low potential. Normally, the high potential is uh, with positive plate. Uh, the high potential is the positive plate. The low potential is the negative plate. Uh, so as you can see, this positive plate, this positive plate normally is high potential. Uh, it's actually always the high potential. The positive plate is always the high potential. The negative plate, the negative plate is the low potential. Uh, okay. The negative plate is low potential. So uh, if uh, the high potential is uh, 200 volt, positive 200 volt, the low potential is negative 200 volt. Actually, the, the low potential sometimes can be uh, negative, negative potential or maybe just plainly zero volt. Uh, normally, the low poten the negative plate, the negative plate normally is only zero volt or maybe it's a negative potential. So, depend, yeah? depend on the questions. So, in this case, uh, in this case, the, the negative plate is, uh, the potential is negative 200. All right. So how to find delta V? Uh, you always use, always use the high potential minus the low potential. High potential minus the low potential, which is you take the positive 200 volt minus the negative 200 volt. Uh, 
So when you minus the negative potential, don't forget, don't forget, you must also include the, sorry, you must also include the negative sign. Ah, the low potential, you have negative 200. The negative here, the negative here, you must also include inside. Okay? And you must also include inside. Uh, so it becomes like 200 minus, 200 minus negative 200. 200 minus negative 200. Uh, don't, uh, don't ignore the negative here. Yeah? You must uh, put in the negative here. Yeah? So uh, minus negative 200. So minus minus become positive. So it become uh, 200 plus 200 become 400. Okay, uh, so uh, the electric, so in the end, uh, delta V over D, the D distance between the two plate is 1 meter. So when we divide, we get 400 volt per meter. And uh, So this is the electric field strength uh, between the par parallel plate. Okay, the uniform electric field between the parallel plate. And it, it has only one value because the separation is always only the separation between the two plates is only one value. Okay, you see the unit. These two, these two, uh, uh, these two, ref these two formula uh, refer to the same uh, terms, which is the electric field strength. But they have different unit. Uh, this one is newton per coulomb, and this one is volt per meter. Same, yeah. You can either use newton per coulomb. Uh, or volt per meter in either place. For this one, why is it volt per, volt per meter? Because the formula itself uh, is delta V over D. So it's actually potential divided by distance. Uh, so the potential is unit volt, volt, and distance is unit meter. Uh, so that's why you get volt per meter. Volt per meter. So uh, we can say that electric field strength as two unit, as two unit, which is Newton per coulomb or volt per meter. Uh, so you can either use uh, either you can use I, uh, either unit. Yeah, you can either use Newton per coulomb or use volt per meter in either situation. If you want to use a uh, volt per meter for the uh, when you use the formula kq over r square, you want to use volt per meter also can no problem. Yeah. Uh, for volt per meter, if, uh, delta V over D, you want to use Newton per coulomb, also can. Yeah, uh, this both unit acceptable for uh, either equations, but it's better, it's better if you use this formula delta V over D, delta V over D. You stick with the original unit, uh, original unit volt per meter. Uh, you uh, when you find use the formula kqr square, better you stick with Newton per coulomb. Uh, but actually, uh, in actual case, both unit acceptable for both formula. Okay, uh, so uh, all right. So KQR square is for point charge non-uniform electric field. Delta V over D is for parallel plate uniform electric field. Uh, uh, okay, so uh, don't mix up. Uh, don't use the wrong formula. And E equal to F over test charge, yeah, force per unit test charge, F over test charge, uh, can be used for either, uh, either situation because this is actually gen very general uh, formula. E equal to F over Q, E equal to F over Q, uh, is, uh, can be used for either situations, yeah. Only the KQR square and delta V over D is specific for either, uh, KQR square specific for non uniform point charge. Delta V over D is specific for uniform parallel plate electric field. Okay, so that's all for um, this uh, uniform electric field. Now let's move on to the last part. Yeah, charge in a uniform electric field. Thank you.